Okay. Well, my name is Cristina Sánchez. I'm a professor of biochemistry at Complutense University in Madrid, Spain. And I have been working, uh, studying the anti-tumor effects of cannabinoids for the last 15 years. Regarding the amount of THC and CBD that a cancer patient has to take in order to cure his or his, her cancer. Well, first of all, we don't know if cannabinoids cure cancer because we don't have clinical control studies saying that we, we know that they work as anti-tumoral agents in preclinical models of cancer. And we have a lot of anecdotal reports from people uh, saying that they have cured their cancer, the cancers with cannabinoids. But uh, uh, from the medical community uh, perspective, we don't have that evidence uh, yet that cannabinoids cure cancer. But uh, going back to Dennis's uh, point regarding the, the, the ratio of THC and CBD that one has to take to cure a cancer, I wouldn't say that a one-one ratio is uh, the need. I would say that each individual, each patient needs a particular ratio of cannabinoids or at least that's what we have seen in our preclinical models of cancer. Not only us, but the rest of the research groups that are working on this field. What we see is that uh, some types of tumors, for instance, glioblastoma, brain tumors, in these cases, more THC works better than a one-one ratio. On the other hand, in breast cancer, which is the type of cancer in which I work, uh, we have seen that more CBD works better than a one-one ratio. So I would say that, and this is the case for other medicine, other anti-cancer medicines, uh, each patient is a different situation, is a different clinical challenge. So I wouldn't say that a one-one ratio would work for everyone.